Hi YouTube, Zippy Zappy Z here. And I know what you're saying right now. <coughs> Sorry. What's wrong with this? What even is it? This is a 20 inch Samsung monitor. It appears according to the model number. It is a 200-204BW. And basically, I'm going to show you guys how do I repair how I'm going to repair it. I've always come across these monitors. Not always, but you know, sometimes I'll come across them. But they always have the same problem with each one of them. And that is the flashing light of death. Or at least what I call it. You know, so I'll put it like that. Basically, what I did... I started by just getting a regular credit card and I went across the sides like that across every side it may not seem like it's coming off but it is and then basically took it off very carefully because there's so many wires you gotta be careful with and you wanna keep note of where everything is Now, again, this is, right here, this is the top, so, yeah, that's more like it. This is what the monitor looks like. And we just kind of, this is my old stand, so if it doesn't work out too good, it's because of being a little old and broken smashed up. Alright, and you want to keep very close note of where everything is. See, that's the top. That's the bottom. And directly on the other side is a little piece there and the inverter cable, which I already unplugged. Now I would say it's safe to unplug it. Very carefully, though. Very carefully kind of just want to get your handy dandy screwdriver yeah, me. okay you just want to kind of lift it up a little push it back that's how I'm going to do it yeah, lift it up that's it, lift it up, push it back and you want to go slowly because you're going to see that's how they're going to come out you just want to lift it up, push it back, lift it up again, push it back. And same with the other side, I think the other side comes out pretty easily. It, just gonna pull it out. And that's how you get it out. And I believe, because the lights are just flashing, I'm going to take both of the pieces off. See, I don't know if this screwdriver is going to work. So. I'll be back, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. I am back again. I figured I'd make a little update. Same day and everything. But I want to show you guys why I believe that happened if you see these capacitors they're kind of bulging out the top and then this capacitor over here they basically they're all bulging out the top which leads me to conclude that they were all bad capacitors from getting overheated or whatever so basically I could either buy this board brand new from China for twenty three dollars or buy in America for fifty dollars now I think I'm just gonna go with China because I'm not in a rush to get this going or anything currently so I'm gonna go like that that route I could just buy the capacitor kit and just solder everything back on but I don't wanna mess with that
because I, I just I don't like messing with stuff like that. But anyway, here. The reason why I'm even going to fix this is because I just cleaned this up and realized there wasn't one scratch on the monitor at all. Not even one little, little tiny scratch. It's 20 inches and I've never owned anything that big. Everything else is in great condition. A little white here from uh, using a credit card. That comes right off. It's just the plastic stuff. You never even see that. See, it comes right off. This needs a little cleaning. Yeah. Well, anyway. The part you see, anyway, is still in good condition. And this is from back with Windows Vista, so it's not even that old. This monitor right over here. Let's see. Oh, let me switch this around. My, that, the stand I'm using right now is a little broken, so. This monitor right here is like a 19, 20 inch around that. Uh, I'm gonna clean it up, see how it looks like too. Uh, this one works fine though. It's just that it's not a widescreen, so. That's the only difference, really. It's nice though. So I'm, I'm probably going to use this as well. And then they'd be side by side. But it's weird because I was actually planning on buying one of these monitors. And maybe now I'll just buy two. A few more. Because I want to have like a Mac setup. That's pretty sweet. And I think that'd be awesome. And yeah, that's really it, YouTube, you know. Yeah, I'm just inspecting it. But everything I see is coming right off, so I'm definitely going to do this. Yeah, it'd be perfect. Because then, uh, right now I only have a 17 inch monitor. So, what I'm probably going to do, I'm just going to put this there. So, it just needs a little clean up. That's it. Alright, YouTube. You know, I do this kind of stuff. So, if anybody has a monitor that's an LCD or. I don't really work with CRT monitors because they're too old now. They don't really sell tubes anymore or any stuff like that. But, I can usually fix LCD monitors. You know, they're not too hard to fix. Um, they're starting to get a little cheaper now, but for me, 120 bucks isn't that cheap, so it's a great deal for the price. And let me get this over here. If anybody can help me with this, I found this iPhone, and I think that the only thing wrong with it is the connector at the bottom so it's a 16 gigabyte 2G I don't know what that means I know it's like a 3G and a whole bunch of other G's and more G's but yeah I mean the guy whoever left it even left the sim card in it <laughs> I don't know what it even does what sim card is but he left it with it, so. Alright, you too. Well, that's everything with that. And I think that's it. Alright, you too. Zippy Zappy Z is signing out. Hi, YouTube. Zippy Zappy Z here. Let me just turn my chair around. I'm going to show you guys, I got the monitor all repaired. This is the final outcome. Took it up to my Mac. See? And that's it. You just take it apart, place the power board, and it works.
Samsung.